Why is it that Destiny is as big of a game as it is, yet we still don't have a centralized social hub and we don't have in-game LFG? Just about every big MMO, and by the way, Destiny is claiming it's an MMO now. It started that back inside of Shadowkeep. But every big MMO doesn't require you to go off-site or off-game in order to get a group to go into raids, dungeons, or pretty much for any type of in-game content. They have it right there in game. Not only that, for the most part, every other MMORPG I've ever played just has matchmaking for everything. Recently, we were on Fireteam Chat, QJ and I were on there, and we got to talking about matchmaking for trials. The pros of it, the cons of it. I think we pretty much all agree that having matchmaking for everything is a good thing, regardless of the downsides. But something that Bungie and Destiny 2 is severely missing is a social hub. Something that will allow people to come together in large quantities. I got any RuneScape players in here? World 1 was always the free-to-play world that would be completely loaded down with folks trying to sell stuff, normally in Lumbridge or Verac. Row two was for members. Regardless, everyone knew, hey, if you wanted to sell something, go to one of those two worlds. We don't really have worlds inside of Destiny, right? But we do have a location, a place that was presented to us at the beginning of Destiny 2 that has been severely underutilized, and that is the farm. The farm would be perfect as a social hub, and this has been brought up multiple times in the past by other content creators. But here recently on Fireteam Chat, Jay even brought the idea, what if there were tents everywhere? In each one of these tents, perhaps they had a banner on them. The Last Wish banner, the Prophecy Dungeon banner. And interacting with those banners at each one of those tents would put you in an LFG queue, or you can actually begin to assemble your team right there at the tent. Now to me, a big reason why this is important and why you need a physical location is because there's a lot of new players, especially new light guys, that have no idea what all the icons on the map is. Some of them don't even know where to go to find the Prophecy Dungeon or even a raid. I've got a good friend of mine. He played Destiny on and off with me. He really liked the game, but he eventually quit playing it because he felt that the social aspect of the game didn't really seem to try to involve him. He didn't want to go do the LFG Find Fire Team on Bungie's website. I think like most of us, just imagine yourself being a new player without ever even playing a raid, jumping in blind like that through LFG can kind of be nerve wracking. Having some sort of matchmaking function or LFG function in game doesn't seem to be as nerve wracking. It doesn't seem to bring about any anxiety because it's all done within game. Everyone's doing it. I can't tell you how many times in like Final Fantasy, I would load up into a trial or into a raid and I would just know the bare minimum on how to complete that encounter. But it was okay because we were used to running into players that maybe didn't know how to do the encounter, but everyone was using matchmaking and that was part of the game. Currently right now inside of Destiny 2, and I know this because I recently was just throwing together a guide for the Grandmaster Nightfall for this week for Lake of Shadows, which by the way, is a good nightfall to grind for. But another similar situation, there's just a lot of folks that are never gonna attempt this level of a nightfall. Not only that, some people might not even know the difference between all the nightfall categories. Currently right now, the situation that Destiny 2 is in is that if you're a dedicated veteran player, you know where everything is, you know the layout, especially if you're a Destiny 1 player but for my new light players i think there's too much confusion on what the best activities are to go for which is why bungie needs a centralized hub location especially one that has like open chat or general chat something that you can even type in. Having people sit there and chat will allow folks to go, hey, what is the best thing to go after? What is the activity we should be targeting? And again, we have things like Discord and there are folks more dedicated that are inside of those Discords, inside of LFG groups, and you might even have a good set of friends that you raid with all the time or do activities with. But as someone who's been a solo player in the past in many other games, it's hard for me to stand up and say that Destiny 2 is really an MMO now when it's missing a very key piece. And considering how open the farm actually is, you could put like little LFG towers in all of these little locations. And you can essentially set it up the same way you do it on Bungie's website. Assemble a fire team or find a fire team. I would love to just go to a place, interact with the banner, and then it just shows me a number of different fire teams that are already set up for that activity. And I can just choose which one I wanna join. And the way it should work is the moment a fire team fills up, the fire team member can launch the activity right then and there 
from the tent or from the banner. It should all take place at this centralized location. And you need this because you got the vault right there. You've got players that have no idea Destiny Item Manager even exists. So having the vault right there, you can be like, hey man, what do you got inside of your vault? Before you even launch an activity. And he can run over there, pick up whatever weapon you're suggesting to him, and voila, there from the farm, you can launch that activity. It's 2020, man. Destiny 2 is claiming to be an MMO, yet its social hub is non-existent. The tower, to me, just has too much going on in it to the point that I feel like people just get lost at the tower. Now, I know a big constraint to all of this is I think we can only have, what, is it 12 players in a session here at the farm? Whatever parameters that are set that Bungie has in place in regards to how many players can load into an area, I really think needs to be increased. Like, I think you need to have, like, 200 players in one area. Have everybody chilling, man, hanging out. 200 sounds like a pretty good number. Any more than that might be a little too much, but that would be ideal. And just think about the big hub areas that you've experienced in other games. However, this LFG tent system, this forming a fire team, launching activities, etc., is probably going to be really dependent on how many players you can have in that social hub. Although I wish there was a way to launch it with players that might be present in other instances. So as much as I want matchmaking for all these activities, which we desperately need, we need a centralized location to launch all of these activities. There's just a lot of folks that don't have any idea that these activities even exist. And unless you're just keeping up with all the Destiny 2 news, constantly keeping up with what's being brought to the game, watching YouTube videos and streams, which as a content creator, I mean, it, it works great for us. But from a player's perspective, this has got to be a system that Bungie makes easier for the player to get involved with. And this goes for raids, this goes for trials, dungeons, nightfall ordeals, everything. And you know what would be really cool, since Bungie knows how to launch trailers in the directory, you know when you have like Shadow Keep up there at the top right, or Forsaken, you can go watch the little trailer. What if at every one of these tents, you go up to them, and there's a little launch sequence trailer. And you can watch the trailer to the raid, the Leviathan raid eat of worlds last wish scourge crown so before you even go in the raid maybe even give them like a spoiler alert you can see like a little small trailer just to have like an idea like oh what is this that i'm about to get involved with and maybe at the bottom of the trailer it shows the raid exotic with the main raid exoticus 1000 voices Terraba, Anarchy. This would give the player an idea of what it is they're going after. And they're like, oh, what is that? Oh, that looks cool. It's kind of crazy because Bungie employees, as well as Luke Smith, have referred to World of Warcraft so many times on how they're trying to like construct Destiny 2, its longevity, its social aspects, and then coined the term MMO last year for Destiny 2, which I'm fine and dandy with. But there is a core aspect here that has been obviously not invested in. Giving us a true social hub area with in-game LFG and having a way for all players, especially new players, to get an idea of whatever it is they're about to be getting themselves involved with. That should be a major priority for Destiny 2 and Bungie. Final Fantasy to me did a really good job of having like their leveling process throughout their dungeons and such and trials and then substantially amplifying those trials and dungeons in in-game content so that you have like a general idea as a newbie when you're doing just like the bare bones minimum version of those dungeons and trials. You got a general idea of the mechanics although they do amplify greatly in in-game content it's nothing that catches you by surprise i wish there was a way for bungie to include new players to find themselves inside of a raid without it actually being a raid. Again, we have to pique the curiosity of the player. You gotta present a gate there, but you still have to be able to see through it. Having some sort of mission that goes side by side with a raid, and perhaps visually, you can just peer into the raid, might be enough to make a player go, wow, what is that? To me, Vault of Glass did it perfect, right? It was right there on Venus, and had you been running in a patrol mission, you would just find yourself stumbling on the Vault of Glass door, asking yourself, what is it that all these players around me are doing in sequence? And then to watch the door open, that was the driving factor I think many of us visually saw that made us go out and find a fire team to do the raid. Destiny 2 to me has taken a step back on many of these social aspects, which kind of dumbfounds me because we have the assets here in front of us. The farm would be an excellent location for this. Having some means for new players to visually see what it is they're about to get involved with could all be done right there. Are there some technical limitations? I'm sure there are, but other the games figured this stuff out decades ago. 
So in my eyes, Destiny 2 has no excuse to not include some major social hub area as well as in-game LFG. And then when we get past that, we need an in-game vault system that's more manageable. But I'm not even trying to get there. Right now, I just want a social hub area that can allow for a large group of people to come together with an in-game LFG system. Well, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of this. I am completely open to all suggestions. This is something that I hope Bungie pushes even as early as Beyond Light. This is going to be a major, major expansion. And if they include some sort of social hub area like this with in-game LFG, all of this new content that they're about to be pushing toward us will be taken advantage of by all players. And that's something that we really need to do. By the way, guys, I've been getting some comments here lately that videos have not been popping up in notifications. I think YouTube must have changed something up here recently, but click the bell icon as that's supposed to alert your notifications a little more effectively. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.